Today, I am very excited to demonstrate a new feature in Unify, titled Web Polling. The Web Polling feature enables the Unify app to poll a website developed by a third party and use that information within the Unify platform. This function works with a myriad of magic apps, such as Wikitest, I Unlock Your Mind, Inject, and a whole host of applications, including our own web messaging portal. Once enabled, events from third parties appear on the status screen, come through as text-to-speech notifications, and appear on your Apple Watch. The events may also be integrated into third-party revelation systems such as Prevision, or pushing the result to a fake search. For example, a spectator could use Wikitest to search for London Bridge, and then the term London Bridge is sent to Prevision to be rendered in a video. In another example, a spectator could use Wikitest to search for Wall Street. This result is then pushed to a second spectator's phone using the fake search, so it appears that the performer knew what the spectator was thinking of, before they searched for it. This integration also works with Notifier 2, a miniature retina display that will display the web polling results. Firstly, I would like to give a big shout out to Mark Kirstein. Mark has developed a whole series of tremendous applications, just one of which is Wikitest. If you have not seen Wikitest, please jump onto Mark's website at www.markkirstein.com or Google Wikitest and have a look at the presentation videos. Today, I would like to demonstrate the integration between Unify and Wikitest. Firstly, we need to connect Wikitest to Unify. To do this, go into Wikitest. If you have not already purchased the Pro Tools, you will need to activate this feature in Wikitest. Go into Settings, then go to Pro Tools, then go to Share Latest Peaks. This will provide us the URL of the website that we need to tell Unify to poll. See that Copy URL button? Tap on Copy URL. To connect Wikitest with Unify, go back into the Unify app. Then go to Settings, then Integrations, and select Web Polling. Then select Web Polling Settings. And then we will paste in that URL. We are just going to call this integration Wikitest. It doesn't necessarily need to be Wikitest. This web polling function will work with a whole myriad of third-party applications, but Wikitest presents a very elegant integration between the platforms. We will enable the polling option, which means that Unify will poll the Wikitest website. We are going to specify a poll frequency of 5 seconds. Information can be retrieved as just straight ASCII data or retrieved in JSON format. The benefit of using JSON formatted data is that the website provides the result and provides a field description. In a JSON formatted result, Unify may receive both the search term and the image data. For example, if someone searches for the term London Bridge, we get both the text London Bridge and the image, which can be displayed on both the iPhone and the Apple Watch. Wikitest supports JSON formatted results, so we would recommend using JSON for connection to Wikitest. However, other web services may only provide the result field and do not support JSON formatted results. I am just going to save that information for the moment. We have now configured Wikitest to be functional with Unify. Let's go back to the main status screen to see what the last search was for in Wikitest. As you can see, the last example I did was of London Bridge. Unify has successfully grabbed the last result and now it is just syncing with the Apple Watch as well. You can see it coming through on the Apple Watch. Let's clear that result down. In Mark's presentation, he has a terrific method of getting the spectator to pair their iPhone with his app. We have placed the spectator's phone and the performer's phone and Apple Watch on the screen to demonstrate the pairing method. The spectator's phone is on the left-hand side and the performer's phone is on the right-hand side. The Apple Watch is also for the performer. I will be playing the role of both the spectator and the performer. The performer will say something along the following lines. Hey, do you have any idea how many words there are on Wikipedia? The spectator will respond with something along the lines of, No idea. A lot I would imagine. 
The performer then asks the spectator to Google how many words there are in Wikipedia. The spectator takes their phone and types in something along the following lines. How many words are there in Wikipedia? This is a really deceptive method, as you have not even touched the spectator's phone, and they really are performing the search themselves. You can see the first result here is wikicount.net. Wikicount.net is actually a website that has been developed by Mark and is the secret to pairing the spectator's phone with Wikitest. Let's tap on Wikicount. The performer asks the spectator does it tell us how many pages there are on Wikipedia? And the spectator responds with yes, it does. There are 6,206,222 pages. As the spectator is reading out the number of pages on Wikipedia, load up Wikitest and select the calculator input. You can then show the audience that you are entering the number of pages in Wikipedia into your calculator, in preparation to demonstrate how many words there are in Wikipedia. Now enter this number into the fake calculator. The performer then asks, does it say how many words on average per page there are on Wikipedia? The performer then multiplies those two together and taps on equals. That's 8,620,442,358 different words you can have on Wikipedia. Wow, that's a lot of words. Would you perhaps mind clicking on visit Wikipedia? So now they are going to Wikipedia. Let's switch back to the Unify app. The performer will then ask the spectator to search for something. The spectator really can search for anything that they like. Select search and type in, Wall Street, then tap on search. Now, remember we are polling the website every 5 seconds. Now we have Wall Street as the result, plus a picture of Wall Street on the status screen. Additionally, the image of Wall Street is on the Apple Watch as well. A few other features we have here are the automated integrations. In the automated integrations section, we can send the wiki test result to any of the listed integrations when the spectator taps on the search button. Prevision and search likely make the most sense for this style of integration. If an automated integration is enabled, then as soon as the spectator searches for a keyword on Wikitest, then it is automatically sent to the specified integration. And that concludes the overview of how Unify and Wikitest integration works. Thank you.